In the last video, we have learned the fallback keyword in Salty and what it does when it's come to receiving the fund. So if you haven't watched, I'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. In this video, we're going to learn about the call keyword in Salty and this is the recommended way to implement when you are transferring fund from one account to other or from one wallet to another smart contract. Let's follow the general convention. We have to provide the Salty version. Let's create a contract we'll call it receiver and this is going to receive the fund inside that we're going to declare an event it will say receiver received and that we have to pass the address of the caller the worser who is calling this function then we have to assign the amount and it's going to be the message so three data we are passing address unt and this message this is our event let's create a caller fallback function because we want to receive uh, ether into this contract receiver external payable so we can receive the fund in that we're going to simply emit this event so this is the event we have created now we have to initialize that so message.sender we have to pass the amount message.value in that we'll have the amount and we can simply pass the message fallback was called so this is the fallback function we have now let's come here let's create a function we'll call foo in that we're going to pass the message we have to pass the amount and it's going to be a payable it's going to return the unt and we're going to simply initialize the event so we have already have the event now we're going to call this value and the message that looks fine now let's come here let's do certain calculation into that and what we're going to do is we have to simply say x plus one so whatever amount whatever id it's providing we're going to simply add on that one that's the simple things we are doing let's create another contract in that contract we're going to call it caller because this is the contract is going to transfer the fund into that contract and this we're going to create an event we'll call it respond it will take boolean success by data this is the two data it will take the one condition we have the address and we want to call so we'll create a function we'll call it test call foo and that we're going to pass this address the address where we want to transfer public payable and in that we're going to simply and as you all know that you have to pay gas fee whenever you do any transaction on ethereum blockchain and in this you will also have the option to customize and define that what gas fees you want to pay if it exists more than that then you want the transaction get failed so you have an option that as well so let's define that we'll call it boolean we'll take the boolean value it will be success it will take the byte memory and data and we'll call this we have the address and we're going to call this method call and that we're going to pass the amount message.value and we can define our gas fee so this is the gas fee 5000 we don't want to pay more than that for this transaction that looks fine now let's come here we're going to call abi.encoded with signature and then we're going to simply pass this foo string unt 56 and we're going to call this call foo and this that's the simple things you have to do and once we have that one now we're going to call the event we have created and that we're going to simply pass the success and the data that looks pretty fine to me that's a simple function we have so let's come here we're going to create a function test call does not exist and that we're going to simply pass the address payable and we're going to do the same thing we're going to take a boolean value we'll take the by data memory data and then we're going to call this function and then we have to assign the abi encoded with signature we have to assign this data and we're going to simply initialize the event and that looks pretty fine and i believe that you guys have understood that what exactly happening here in the call method so this is the entire smart contract we have written the first contract we have is the receiver inside that we have this event we have this fallback and we have this function this is the second contract we have this caller in that we have this event and we have these two functions test call foo and we have this test call not exist now let's deploy the contract and let's have a look so first we go to deploy this receiver and if we come here you can see right now we don't have anything into this and if you want to check this function you can pass the message and you can pass this so i can pass i'll say hey and i can pass one if i do the transaction the transaction went successful and if i open this open the logs you can see the data which i have got so this is the unt i got two which i have returned so it's working fine these are the two data we have provided let's close this one let's deploy the other contract and we're going to deploy that this is the second contract we have inside that right now we don't have anything into this and in this contract we have to pass this data so we have to pass the data the address 
So simply grab this and we're going to cause and paste here and we're going to send that. The transaction went successful. You can see the transaction went successful and everything looks fine. This is the custom gas fee we have paid and right now we haven't transfer any funds so if you come into this contract and still we have the zero if you want to transfer the fund from for that you can simply come here increase the fund and now you can make the transaction if you call this it's working fine and here you can see we have this balance here it will work in the same way if you come here and paste the address of the contract here and if you again transfer the fund and you can call this transfer food the transaction been successful and the balance got up so it's looking absolutely fine so this is the recommended method which you have to use whenever you want to transfer the fund this call and that's the only thing i want to show you that how you can build a complex model to get the data and transfer the fund into the contract or into the wallet so i hope this makes sense if you still have any confusion make sure to analyze the entire code we have written and what's happening try to understand what these functions are doing if you still have any confusion try to google it out and try to find out what is happening here these are very simple one so with that i'm ending this video hope you have found this video valuable if you are still confusion end out leave in the comment section with that let's move to the next video